alright. It seems to sound okay on my end, it seems. Can't, can't hold you to that. But yeah, <laughs> streaming, it's been a while. A uh, couple things to make clear. Um, what was it? Last week when I was supposed to stream, something came up. So, unfortunately, couldn't stream. That was sad. Um, yesterday, when I was supposed to stream, I did a total goof. I fucking, uh, my phone died in the middle of me sleeping, because I want to catch some Z's before the stream, so I don't sound like a tired bitch. And my phone died, alarm didn't go off, missed the stream time by like three hours, and then I was like, well, I could stream. And then right I was about to do it, right as I was about to be like, eh, I could get in like an hour or two of streaming. Fucking got hit with a goddamn cramp in my leg and it hurt like a bitch. And I'm still feeling the repercussions of that today. So, that sucks. So right now, my back is killing me. Just woke up. So, my voice sounds a little groggy probably. And I still got like, the fucking, the muscle memory of the cramp that happened in my leg yesterday because it was a really bad cramp. That shit, like, lasted all fucking, all today, all yesterday. It sucks. Other than that, um, what else is there to say? Nothing much, really. You know? Yep. Other than that, we're here. We're doing Phoenix right. It's been a while. Um, this is where I left off at, right? I believe so. Let's get started. Let's do that indeed. Oh yeah, also got my AC on in the background, so that's gonna be, you know, coming on and off. It's been two months since Maya left the office. Two months without a single trail. Trail? Trial. I had offers, but took none. That is, until the day that girl showed up. February 22, 10.02 AM, Wright & Co. Law Offices. Why do I come here, to the office every day? It's not like I want to work. There you are, finally! Where- Who the hell are you? you look like the fucking Maya replacement. Why have- Uh, where have you been? My sister's trial is tomorrow. Um, who are you? It doesn't matter who I am. It only matters who you are. The famous defense attorney, Maya Fey. Um, excuse me? Oh, uh, you're not Maya Fey, are you? Maya is a girl's name. I'm sorry about Miss Maya Fey no longer... I'm sorry, but, uh, Miss Maya Fey no longer works here. So you are the coffee boy? I'm Phoenix Wright, a defense attorney. Right, right. Wait! You're THE Phoenix Wright? The Phoenix Wright from the Edgeworth murder case. Um, yes, that's correct. It wasn't Edgeworth who was the m who was murdered, though. That's a relief, then. You're better than nobody. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I'm not taking cases right now. But you are Phoenix Wright, right? The undefeated defense attorney. Look, I'm not accepting any new cases. I'm sorry, but you'll have to try elsewhere. 
please. I'm out of time. But... Please, you have to help. It's my sister. Maya? Could it be? Okay. I'll hear you out. Really? Thank you so much. My name's Emma. Emma Sky. I'm a science. I'm a, uh, science. Wow. I'm a scientific investigator. Scientific investigator. Okay. Emma, was it? So you're a scientific investigator? Yes. That's right. Is something wrong? No. It's just you seem kind of uh, jumpy, or maybe just young. Young. I'll be 16 years old this year. Wow. Young. Oh, I see. Wait. Only 16? That's right, folks. She's barely legal, and she's doing it for college. <laughs> I'm set to be formally assigned to forensics in three months. In three more years. My bad, not months. What am I saying? I'm still half asleep. My work is becoming quite well known at my age, no less. Hmm. So what exactly is your current position, then? Well, legally speaking... I guess you call me an 11th grader? But I'm ready to do my job, at my age no less. Great, another future professional in training. The case. So, what's this about a case? You said the trial's tomorrow? My sister didn't do it. She wouldn't stab someone with a knife. She wouldn't. So, it's a murder case? I don't care if there's a witness who saw her do it. She didn't do it. I know she didn't do it. It's a scientific fact. And there's a witness. J just talk to her. You have to talk to her. Right. I suppose I will. I promised her I'd bring Maya Fey, but that's interesting. How would she know Maya? How would you know Maya and not know that she's been dead for fucking... What, what's it been like? Huh. The equivalent of like... Six months? The better half of a year? I don't know. So, you want to be a scientific investigator when you grow up then? I excuse me? I'm not a child. I'll have you know. Still, it's good to have a goal. I'll bet a very unusual one. I believe in I believe investigation should be done scientifically. Don't you? Um, yeah. Sure can't fall her for lack of enthusiasm. If this case is handled scientifically, I'm sure I'm sure my sister's name will be cleared. Your sister? I've been doing research, you know? I'm developing a new scientific method of case investigation. I'll show you I'll show you when I'm done. I'm looking forward to it. Guess I should get down to the detention center and talk to her sister. My sister asked for Maya specifically. This Maya Fay person was a few years below her in school. So, they went to the same school, huh? She always told me to go to Maya if I ever needed a defense attorney. And well, I need one. Um, accidentally, Maya is a woman. Accidentally, what I'm saying, incidentally. Now that you mention it, I guess it is more of a woman's name than a man's. Well, it's nice for you to help your sister out like this. You must be close. Well, actually... When she gets like she is now, I kind of hate her. Huh? But, but she's my only family. Your only family? What about your parents? They died in a car accident when I was little. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeesh. Everybody's parents just getting offed out here. Don't worry, check this out. You see this? It's my attorney's badge. Ah, well, I've never seen a real one before. You're the first one who's actually been interested in mine, I believe. Believe me. Its composition is most likely silver. The gold plating is fit. Wow. Way to shoot my fucking... My, my goddamn ego. She analyzed it. Scientifically. There doesn't appear to be any corrosion due to... Due to what? Sulfates. I'd give you $50 for it. Sorry, but it's not for sale. Yet. Yet, one day it will be known as the famous attorney's badge of the great Phoenix Wright. And I shall sell it for millions. Millions in untold riches. Alright, 
So let's go and talk to your fucking sister. February 22, Detention Center. Visitor's room. Um, I wonder what's wrong with Emma. She's got quiet all of a sudden as soon as we arrived. Guard, thought I told you I didn't want visitors. S sorry, ma'am, it's just your sister. No excuses. Or did you not want to raise- or did you not want to raise this year? Uh, understood, ma'am. What was that all about? Uh... Hi, Lana. Funny. I seem to remember specifically telling you not to come here. Perhaps my memory is failing? Look, I didn't want to come here either, okay? But your trial's tomorrow and you still don't have a defense attorney. I'll be... I'll be the one in court tomorrow. This has nothing to do with you, Emma. God! You guys just... Both of them just look so young. <laughs> of course, they're also both spitting images of Maya and... Uh, Maya and Mia. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? Hey, how did you know me? Mia mentioned you. I've heard quite a bit. Uh, I'm sorry, what exactly is it that you do? My name's Lana. Lana Sky. I'm chief prosecutor for this district. Oh. Your prosecutor? Another prosecutor? What's she holding behind her back? Is it a knife? Two sisters, one a lawyer. Uh, could this be a coincidence? Emma, Lana, I mean, they're just like... Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? Something wrong? There's a lot wrong here. The fuck you mean is something wrong? Crazy. You silly goose, you silly billies. Alright. So the case. There's something you should know from the start, which is... The suspect in this case has to confess to the crime. Has confessed to the crime. Huh? Wait, but the suspect... The suspect is... Me. I did it. Well, Mr. Wright? Well, why don't you begin by telling me exactly what happened? Why do I feel like I have fucking hair in my mouth? What the fuck? Okay, that was weird. I feel like I got hair in my mouth, but I don't, I don't see any. That's weird. Alright. The crime took place yesterday, February 21st, at 5.15 p.m. That's quite specific. It was in the witness de uh, disposition. A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. Huh? My, that was a bit of bad luck, wasn't it? The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my, uh, of my subordinate's car. The prosecutor's office, huh? In your subordinate's car trunk? Classy. I was arrested on the spot, caught red-handed, as it were. Well, that's just great. So, who's the victim? An investigator with the police department. I suppose the correct term is detective. A detective? Death was due to loss of blood. He was stabbed once in the stomach. By you? Death wasn't imminent. Uh, imminent, that's what I'm saying. Death, death was imminent. Death wasn't immediate, but the wounds was fatal. I see. Allow me to repeat myself, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective. You know what that means, don't you? Uh-oh. What? Mr. Wright, what does it mean? Well, it means... The police department will consider it a matter of pride to me... To have... Oh, to have me found guilty. They will use any means at their disposal to do so. This case gets worse and worse with everything I learn. Aw, oh, you're just... You're just in the thick of it now. You're just... Oh, damn it. So you're the chief prosecutor? That is correct. I'm responsible for overseeing every trial handed by prosecutors in the district. I'm making sure the prosecutors have what they need to do the job and manage every aspect. Those are my responsibilities in a nutshell. And that's an awfully large nutshell. Still, I'm a little surprised. I would think you recognize the, uh, the, I would think you recognize the district's chief prosecutor, Mr. Wright. 
huh? In fact, it seems impossible. Oh, what is wrong with your hand? What did you do? Seems impossible, you wouldn't. Um, Lana? What happened to your hand? Oh, this? I cut myself by accident. When I stabbed him, that is. Huh? I'm not very good at being a criminal, I suppose. How am I supposed to defend this? Time to change the subject. Wait, she was in the class ahead of Mia? Wasn't she? Um, you were in school with Mia, correct? A few years above her. Emma told you that too, did she? Well, why not? I did drag him all the way here from his office. Although it seems he has very little in common with Mia. Hey, I resent that. It was in law school. I was in my third year and she was attending... Attending? She was, a uh, audit... Uh, it is attending, what am I saying? She was attending class. She was different than the other students. Different. She was stronger. She, uh, she'd do anything to become a defense attorney. Anything. That was probably why she was attracted to me. I excuse me? Fucking excuse me? Do go on, tell me more. Intellectually attracted, Lana was top of her class school. No, 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 you weren't there. Let her tell the story. I was the best there was. Oh. I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good in school too, by the way. It sounds a bit different when Emma says it. Well, Mr. Wright? Hey, excuse me? As you can plainly see, I'm admitting my guilt. I think it's safe to say there's no way you can take this case. None. Excuse me. If you do not know who I am, I am the great Phoenix Wright. I'll have you know. I can take this case. B but Lana! Why? Why are you doing this to me? You never think of anyone but yourself. I know you didn't do it, Lana, I know. So? So how can you say you did it? If I lose you... I'll... I'll be all alone. I hate you, Lana. Mr. Wright? Yes? I believe our discussion here has ended. The rest, I leave to you. Okay. Um, you mean you're requesting my services as your defense? Don't lose any sleep over it. Your client has confessed, after all. The case is over. Right. I'll do what I can to get to the bottom of this. Lana has confessed to the crime, yes. But something doesn't fit. It's that look in Emma's eyes. There's something else going on here. And I'm gonna find out what. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. Huh? About what? My sister. She's not always like this, you know? I just never expected to be defending another prosecutor again. She changed a lot. She used to be so gentle, always smiling. Everybody liked her. I see. Sorry, but I'm having trouble imagining that. What happened to her? I don't know for certain myself. I think maybe she... well... I, wait, what? I think maybe she... well, maybe not. Sounds like there's something... Sounds like something that defies a simple scientific explanation. Let's go check out the underground parking at the prosecutor's office, shall we? Okay. God. God. They're just a spitting image. Alright. Well, let's head there. February 22, prosecutor's office, underground parking lot. So, this is the lot where it happened. Looks like they're still investigating. Funny, that's my first visit to the prosecutor's office. Should... Funny that my first visit to the prosecutor's office should be like this. Hey everyone, keep up the good work. Hey, what are you thinking? Well, they're going to be my co-workers three years from now, after all. No harm in saying hello. Actually, there is. You know, attorneys aren't supposed to examine crime scenes. I'm trying to not stand out too much here, you see? Hey there. Yes, fuck. I can't fucking speak. You're suspecting to go unnoticed, huh? Part partner? Part partner? 
<laughs> Partner? Who the fuck? What do we have here? Looks like a Bambini. Wait, what? A Bam Bambino? Got loose from the ranch and is up to no good. Folks gotta learn to keep them doggies tied down, partner. M Mr. Marshall? What the fuck? What is this guy? Marshall looks more like a sheriff to me. Lucky air, but I really hope I'm saying this right. Bambina, I know that you, I know how you feel, but this is my gang's gold streak. See? Streak. Streak. Why am I saying streak? Strike. This is our claim, our territory, with a mother load of evidence. If you're fixing to mess with what's ours, you'll regret it, partner. You know what dream? <laughs> you know what dreams the cacti out in the desert dream? You want to? What is this guy talking about? He's just drinking on the job. You head along home now. Happy trails, Bambina. Was that a hombre, a friend of yours? Huh? Kind of, sort of. Yeah, he's a detective. Who thinks he's who thinks he's a sheriff from the Wild West? It seems. That was uh. That was interesting. So that's all I can do here. Can't examine nothing. Like that wallet on the ground? What's this? A wallet? Um, excuse me, officer! Wait, wait! What are you doing, Mr. Wright? What am I doing? I just found this wallet, so I'm handing it over to the police. Don't believe it. <sighs> this, is this is real basic. Anything at the crime scene is evidence. Let's be scientific about this, please. Just put it in your pocket. How is that scientific? Sounds like theft. <laughs> Sounds like theft to me. Wallet hesitantly stuffed into your pocket, like a fucking drug addict, just like looking over your shoulder. I'm called to duty already, and at my tender age. Don't say that. Don't say that. You'll get me arrested. Here, I'll teach you the trick to examine evidence in detail, okay? By the way, her eyes are sparkling. I can tell she's been waiting for this. Okay, okay. Now, look at the court. Uh, look at the court record. Okay, I'm looking at it. You have to be sure to examine evidence carefully on all sides. This is supposed to be the last case, right? They're adding new shit here? Now let's start examining from every angle. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Well, can I open it? There's something inside, like money. Examine it from every angle. Zoom in. Ah, yes, I see. It's a wallet. Do I zoom in more? Oh, look. I think there might be a clue here. You should check it out. Press the X button. Uh, like opening the wallet? This. This is an ID card. Sergeant Bruce G Goodman. ID number 5842189. See? Well, isn't scientific investigation useful? I guess, though I don't see what science has to do with opening a wallet. Good man's ID adds to the court record. We must be sure to examine every piece of evidence we find. I guess, I guess I've got to go on my toes from now on. Huh. Alright. What about this door? Look, a door! It must mean something. I'm not sure that doors mean anything. No, it won't open. A mysterious lock. I fail to see what you're mysteri what's mysterious about it. Mr. Wright, you need to learn to enjoy life more. Let's finish our investigation first, shall we? Like this phone. Here, a phone. Let's see if it works. Hey, don't touch stuff we don't need to be touching. I can't hear anything. My ears. No, my ears. Maybe it's due to the barom uh, to barometric pressure. What is she babbling about? Hey, what did you just say? See? You can hear just fine. The phone's broken. Alright. An oil drum. Looks like it's filled with water. It's heavy. I can't even budge it. The drums over here is on it's on its side. Wait, I know. I'll hide in here and do a stakeout. I think you'll probably just get arrested. In fact, you may not even have to hide in the trunk to get arrested. What? I'm not suspicious. Uh, 
you're very suspicious. A little floor grate here. Is that everything? Check that. Oh. Look, a stylish glass walled room. Very nice. You can see the whole parking lot from in there. It says security. Perhaps it's a cafe? Huh? Cafe security. Yeah, that must be it. Let's check it out later. Um, I hate to break it to you, but I think it's probably just a security guard office. You know, I scored a 97 on my science test the other day. Too bad they don't have a test for common sense. Aha! A ladder. Um, that's a step ladder. What's the difference? In scientific terms, please? Scientific... what? Look at the basics of nature. Look at the basic nature of things, Mr. Wright. This all seems so horribly familiar somehow. Uh, there's duck over here. This wall is in our way. It's good of, uh, it's got a faucet for water. Wait, I know. This wall is merely a facade, hiding the truth. This is no wall, but a water tank. I fail to see how it makes any difference either way. I think that's everything. Should be, at least. Seems so. What's this? This is where the cars leave the lot. The arrow on the ground makes it look more like an entrance. What are you talking about? It's plainly an exit. Well, maybe it's both. Kind of a dual purpose? Aha! The theory of relativity. What? I've got to write this down. Yeah. Hey, hey, Mr. Wright. Maybe you know what... Uh, maybe no. Was Mr. Relatively German, or was he British? Mr. Relatively? Are you sure, you know, are you sure that's what his name is? Right. Something's wrong with this girl. She's, uh, she's crazy. She's very, very crazy. I think I've gotten everything in here. It seems so. Time to move on. Back to the law office. Back to the detention center. What am I doing? Oh, slide. I didn't even see that. Oh, okay, look at this. Really? Really? That's the mock-up of the body? That's what we're, uh, that's what we're doing. Very detailed. Well, no time to wait. Let's get hunting for some clues. I wonder what this is. Well, partner, looks like you got no intention of going home quietly. The sheriff... Like I said before, this here's our claim. You best be moving along, unless you're fixing to bite the bullet. <laughs> scary. Could you just tell us one thing? Who owns that car? Well, well, the little filly's got a good nose on her. You want to know who rides the red Mustang with the body in her saddle, eh? Please? No problem, partner. About time for fiddle- wait, fiddles? Get, you, get yourself to the saloon up on the 12th floor of the prosecutor's office. Might just find your cam, uh, covert, uh, your fucking Seversa. You like what? I don't even know what. Fuck. I'm having a hard time here. Prosecutor's office. Where does this guy? Where does this guy? Where does this guy think he is? And when, from that matter? Note to self: Look up Vattle Saloon and where the fuck that word is. Maybe we should check out room 1202, the High Prosecutor Office. In any case, stay away from the car. You can look around here all you like, just keep your paws off our claim. Right, great, great, okay, got it, okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 cool, 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 cool. Great. Maybe there's some clues around here, Mr. Wright, let's check out. Excuse me? Were you two all set? Us. And who the fuck are you? Oh my god, your name has to have something with rice in it. It has to. It has to. What is this? She couldn't be. You're selling lunches here? This is a crime scene. Hello. Half and half, was it? Oh, um, thanks. And you, sir? Y yes? Oh, that looks great. Some crunchy goodness coming at you. Um, thanks. Anxious way of doing business. This area is off limits to anyone without a clearance. Especially past buyers. Or are you officers? 
uh, no, but you. You don't exactly look like the type to have clearance. Well, that's hardly a way to greet someone. Even in my days, the cough up queen over there. Wait, what? Cough up? Huh? You know, I'm feeling kind of full. Maybe I'll pass on lunch. I'm quite connected to this case, you see? The images are burned into my eyes. You may say, yes, all the sword did secrets. Secrets? Dear me, you are sl you're a slow one, aren't you? She's the witness. I'm referring to the murder, the stabbing of the detective. What? A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. Do you mean you're the witness? My sister was talking about? Please, cough up queen, tell us what happened. The name is Angel Star. Don't you go forgetting it. Oh, trust me, I won't. It won't be the only thing I won't be forgetting, you know what I mean? <laughs> that lunch looked very wonderful. Oh, before you know it, I'll have you whimpering at my heels. Y yes, ma'am. Yeah, she means it. All right. Somehow, I knew. Yesterday was a day of destiny. I knew something was going to happen. Just like I had known that daily special on Friday every week is salmon. Destiny? Was yesterday special for some reason? You're a defense attorney, right? You should know then. You should know the foul misdeeds of the evil ones who haunt this den and of inequality. The evil ones? Prosecutors, they have no qualms at all about blackening the names of innocents. And yesterday, they paid homage to the most evil one of all. They gave in a reward for a king of prosecutors. What a farce. So, she's saying, there was some sort of prosecutor at a convention yesterday? I was almost compelled to lace their lunches with something foul. Do you have a personal grievance against prosecutors or something? Or is it some kind of scientific evidence of this, uh, evil? Young miss, mock me at your own risk. You'll soon find out why they call me Cough Up Queen. Ew. Ew. <laughs> yeah, they call her the Spit Up Queen. <laughs> the most hinderous of all the evil ones. Hinderous, what am I saying? The most heinous of all the evil ones. The ones they rewarded yesterday. It was in his, uh, it was in his car that they found the body. Proof that he devoured the evilest lunch of all. Really? Really? What? I'm fucking confused. One thing's clear, this lunch lady has a thing against prosecutors. What you witnessed? Tell me your dirty secrets. So what exactly was it that you witnessed, Miss Star? It was a fascinating spec- spe oh fuck. It was fascinating spectacle to be sure. And now I feel I know what- what they say when they talk about a woman's wrath. To see Lana Sky wield that knife so. Her knife flashed in anger, bringing him to a sad end. It was truly a sight to see. You mean you saw the very moment of the crime? The sound of his silvery ties to this world began crueling. Wait, what? Began crueling cut still rings in my ear. Oh, being. Oh, fuck, not beginning. What am I saying? And the rhythmistic, rhythmic beat of Lana Sky's knife. Wait a second, you know Lana Sky? Hmm, of course. It's quite a feat to become a chief prosecutor. How many lunchboxes of sin did she pack to make that journey, I wonder? She always travels light. Now, why would this pretty lunch lady know the chief prosecutor's name? Um, can we ask you a bit about yourself, Miss Star? I come here every day to sell lunches. I import only the freshest and best from the Far East. For some reason, the box lunches are a hit here. Why not make the lunches here rather than import them? Did you say something? No. Only true connoisseurs can understand. What the fuck is that? The kind... <laughs> that looks nasty. <laughs> the kind you can only tell someone who has tried General Tao... Uh, Tao? Sao? So? General Tao's tri uh, trilobite lunch set. Tr what the f It's a trilobite? Jesus. Never mind. You win. I don't even want to appreciate part of Trilobite's flavor. Anyways, I come here every day to sell lunches. My boyfriend works in the security room here at the prosecutor's office. Your boyfriend? See the security room over there? 
the glass wall, the glass wall booth. I saw my lunches, and since I'm here anyways, I drop in to see him. Since you're here anyways, I guess on lunches is more important than romance. So, to scientifically analyze the data available so far, you, Miss Star, are a lunch vendor with the ulterior motive for coming here. Useful analysis, not. Did you have a bad experience with the prosecutor, Miss Star? I sense some uh, hostility. Hostility? Huh, perhaps. Prosecutors are all alike, and the bigger they get, the worse they smell. Kind of like 10 year old clams in the chowder. I wonder if Miss Star was involved in some sort of legal trouble in the past. They'd be sure, uh, they'd be sure cause of food. Wait, what? That'd be a sure cause of food poisoning, scientifically speaking, of course. I mean, you're a talk. Uh, fuck. I mean, now you're talking, cough up queen. I thought she was just a lunch vendor, but now I'm not so sure. All right, Miss Angel, check this out. Oh. I can examine my own badge. Oh, it has a number on it. I didn't know I can examine my own badge. Look at it in all its beauty. Oh, it looks great. So this is what the back of the badge looks like. And I always thought it had a safety pin. Each badge has a number carved into it. And that way you can tell which attorney it belongs to. You mean you couldn't lend your badge to anyone? No, I'd be found, I'd be found out right away. Well, that's no fun. It's a beautiful badge. I love it. I want to show her the badge. A defense attorney must be able to fight. How about you? Do you think you can win? How about t tackling Lunchland's Pickle Supreme lunchbox? Wow, it's really crunchy. A box of pickles. Kind of sad lunch if you ask me. I can't believe this guy turned himself to a pickle. That's the funniest shit I've ever seen. Uh, that's it. High prosecutor office. Let's check that out. Oh, a silver samurai, some chess, a little, uh, is that Edgeworth's outfit in there? What the fuck am I looking at? February 22, high prosecutor's office, room 1202. Is that the tea set that the fucking, uh, uh the fucking... What's his name? The bellhop hat? Alright. This is kind of room that just screams, I can do the job. Quiet. Quite a change from your offices, really. Thanks. Look, look. There's a trophy or something here. A trophy? What's that, a shield? It talks real... It takes real nerves to display stuff like this. Whoever's office this is, must be a real stuck-up jerk. Oh. Oh. Are we in Edgeworth's office? Nah, no way. No way. Phoenix Wright. You never try to pry into other people's business, do you? That voice. Oh no! <laughs> Long time no see, Edgeworth. Huh? Ah! M Mr. Edgeworth! You know him from somewhere? Of course! I'm his biggest fan. My sister introduced us once, and... Right, her sister's chief prosecutor, after all. Well, what brings you here? I'll warn you, I've been known to be a real stuck-up jerk. N no, did I? No. It was just Mr. Right here, he, uh... Hey, don't blame me. Don't, don't be pulling that shit, now. We're just here to investigate a murder case. Murder? body was found in the nasty bright red sports car in the parking lot. Hmm. That would be my car. What of it? Edgeworth, what the fuck, man? This is your second time, you son of a bitch. What? Your car? I'll say one thing, she certainly can scream. Edgeworth, what the fuck, man? What's going on? What the hell? So the body was found in your car. Go ahead, say it right. You think I did it, don't you? Of course I don't think you fucking did it, but what the hell, man? After you went through all that trouble to help me last year, no less. Last year. That was a year ago? Wait, what? That was a year ago? I thought it was two months. 
I thought fucking Maya left like at least a week after the case. No, we don't think you did it. I mean, it was my sister who stabbed them. Wow. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Emma. Real, like, thank you. Oh, uh, wait, no, she didn't do it. I mean, wait. So you're the chief prosecutor's little sister then? Yes, sir, Emma Sky. It's, uh, it's nice to meet you again. Now, that didn't sound forced at all. Ah, oh, now I remember. You've really grown. I'll admit it. Uh, I'll admit it was a surprise for me, too. To think that my own car would become the scene of a murder. More surprising still, I'm being forced to prove my superior's guilt. I can understand. Wait, what? Lana Sky's chief prosecutor, the top prosecutor in the district. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be the prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. You? Mr. Edgeworth. To be honest, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors. You don't hear the rumors about me, haven't you? Miles Edgeworth. It's hard to remember a time when there weren't rumors about this guy. Forging evidence, arranging false testimonies, illegal searches, you name it. Thanks to you, my innocence was established in the trial at the end of last year. However, there are some who say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. Wh what? That's crazy! Hmm. Some people need very little excuse to think ill of others. It's a fact of life, impossible to stop. But... Some of them even go as far as to present me with toys like this. What is this, a K for killer? They think it's funny. Toys? That bronze shield? There's gotta be a story behind that one. Chief Prosecutor Sky? Yes. We first we worked together on a case two years ago. It was my first big case. That's right, I remember. Two years ago, I wasn't even a lawyer yet. Since then, I always felt that she was looking out for me. It appears I was mistaken. Mistaken? Why? I mean, I know she's not the warmest person, but I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. And then, why? Why did she stab someone in the trunk of my car? Not one, not only that, she stabbed him with my knife. What? What? Mr. Edgeworth, your knife was the murder weapon. Edgeworth, why are you, why do you have, mm. You know what, that's kind of a dumb question. He is a prosecutor after all. I was gonna say, why does he have a knife? But still, I just, I still just kind of find it weird. That the guy's like, here's my knife. Hey, look at this, this is my personal knife. I like it. Uh, to be specific, it was the knife I keep in the toolbox in the trunk of my car. Okay, toolbox. I guess it makes more sense. No prints on it? Really? Edgeworth's nice added to the court records. Um, Edgeworth? What? Are you sure you didn't do it? Wow. Come on, can't he take a joke? <laughs> you have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. Hey, Edgeworth. Check it the fuck out. I once dreamed of being a defense attorney a long time ago. What? You wanted to be a defense attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. Yet, my path is laid out clearly before me. I have no time to reflect on what might, uh, what might have been. Alright. Let's check this, by the way. Got this knife. Hmm, yes, it seems to have uh, a nice hefty amount of strawberry jam on it, if I do say so myself. This must be the victim's blood, right? Either that or Edgeworth cut himself peeling an apple. What's Edgeworth doing with a knife like this anyways? Hey, maybe he spends his weekends ru uh, roughing, <laughs> roughing it out in the wild. Edgeworth, in the wild? I think my fruit peeling theory is more likely. Are you kidding? I always pictured him as an outdoorsman. Now there's a scary thought. There's no prints on it. Mm. Is that it? Let's investigate around here. I'm gonna look around your office. Sorry, Edgeworth. Don't mind if I do. I've been wondering, what the heck is this? It's a big K on it. Uh, 
Mm, prosecutors? Huh? What was that? It's the King of Prosecutors trophy. K K King of Prosecutors? It's a great honor. They send the shield to the best prosecutor each year. What? So... So the K, that's... K stands for King? Yeah, you got a problem with that? I didn't design the thing. King of Prosecutors? Kind of like Employee of the Month, only better. Alright. Edgeworth, what the hell is this? Wow! This jacket is even lacier than his usual ones. This must be his lucky trial jacket. Lucky jacket? Right, I've never seen him wear it. I'm sure there's a story behind why it's framed. Maybe I'll be naughty and take a picture? She's getting way too excited about this. Silver Samurai. My, my! What an amazing banquet! Just right for Mr. Edgeworth. No kidding. Hey, there's a card on it. Back from the dead, Wendy. Wendy? I've heard that name somewhere before. And besides, it's a steel samurai. Wait, Wendy. Wendy. I don't... I can't remember. Wow, I want one. Um, there's something written on the bottom of his foot. Between a rock and a hard place, Wendy. Who's Wendy? Wendy? She Mr. Edgeworth's fiance. Wendy Old Bags. Fuck. Um, I don't think so. Ah. Oh. Jesus, see? I thought it was someone else. I didn't think it would be her. Oh, cute. What a pretty tea set. I go more for an instant tea bags myself. Amazing. The door below is filled with packets of tea leaves. They're all sorted by a place of, uh, they're all sorted by a place of origin and flavor. Look at this, Royal Blend. What an exquisite, uh, what an exquisitely splendid concoction. There's, there's such a thing as taking a hobby too far. Yeah, it's worth, what's wrong with you? Chess. Why is there only one blue piece? Hey, a chessboard. I'm not too up on my chess, but it looks like blue's in a bit of a tight spot. The Red King have surrounded the blue pawn. Huh? Those horses are mounted knights. Their swords have really sharp edges. And check out the poor pawn. His head is kind of spiky. Kind of reminds me of you. Mr. Edgeworth must, <laughs> must be an avid chess player. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? Edges surrounding a pawn with spiky hair? Nah, it's nothing. It is a coincidence. It's just, you know, fun and games. Whoa, these are all case files. They're stacked up in a the ceiling. They even, uh, they're stacked up to the ceiling. There's even a ladder. Odd. I thought Edgeworth wasn't good with heights. He must have someone get them for him. Strange. Why did I just picture Detective Gumshoe? He must study these cases. Uh, he must study these case reports closely. He's so cool. You wouldn't say that if you saw him sweating bullets up on the ladder. All right. What's this? A work desk. It's quite tidy, as one expected. What a nice desk. Easy to use and easy on the eyes. It's polished so well I can see my own reflection. Strange. Why did I just picture Detective Gumshoe? Well, I'll, I'll take the name Black as a souvenir. Don't. He'll sue you. Jesus. I think that... Oh, his couch. Miss Edgeworth has such a comfy sofa. Sofa like this make me want to curl up and take a nap. I bet he's pours. I bet he pours over his case files here until he until the wee hours in the morning. Then he takes off his jacket, rolls up his sleeves, and then goes to sleep using the arms as pillow. I don't believe it. She's actually daydreaming about Edgeworth's working. I bet in the morning he has sofa hair and a little creases in his chest, uh, in his cheeks from the seams. He's so cool. Sofa hair is cool. I think that's everything. Should be. I love how we just scoped this man's fucking. We just scoped out his whole entire, uh. His whole entire office right in front of him. Present. Hey, Edgeworth, do you know who this is? It's Edgeworth. I was wondering about this. Mr. Wright? Huh? What? Are you sure you should be showing that to Mr. Edgeworth? Oh. 
I'll take it for sure. You won't. I'll take. <laughs> He'll take it for sure. Wait, what? He'll take it for sure, won't he? There we go. For some reason, I. I just jumbled those words up. Huh. I wish I could be on the same side as Mr. Edgeworth, but then my sister would be found guilty. And she says any. If she sighs any deeper, I'm gonna start getting depressed. All right. Well. uh... Thank you, Edgeworth. I'll be on my merry way. Uh... Hey, lady, you know who this is? About this card. Lunch land vendors only accept cash, no cards. Especially not a card belonging to someone else. No, 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 this isn't a credit card, it's an ID card. It belongs to a detective? And you're showing this to me? The lunch lady? Why? That's like showing a fine honeyed ham to a detective. Why do I always feel like I'm being mocked? I thought maybe you would tell me who it is. Maybe you'd be like, that's the fucking victim. I saw him get stabbed. Saw him get stabbed with the murder weapon. It was crazy. Hey, lady, check out this knife. Could you take a look at this? You. Yes? You said you wanted some hot tea, right? No, but thanks. She didn't even look at me. Hmm, you must have to brew the leaves a long time to get rich flavors like this. We pre-infused the leaves with steam before brewing. I... I knew it. So that's the secret to their aroma. Exquisite. The only thing I'm smelling here is a waste of time. Oof. Alright. Slide to the side. Oh, I can't. They won't let me. Alright, well... Let's mosey on over to the detention center. Nope. Let's get back to the office. Nope. Then there's something I still have to do. But what? What is it? Do I have to talk? No. My prosecutor's office. It's worth present him. Oh, you know what? I should present the trophy to her. Maybe she'll go on a tirade or something and say some names. Just take a look at this. You? Yes. So you want some hot tea? Maybe she would have said something different. Okay. Guess I'll show it to Edgeworth and maybe we'll talk more about it. Check this out. So basically, this says you were the best of the best last year? Huh. You can take that foolish grin elsewhere, right? I lost a day of work to receive that travesty. Huh? Why's that? I had to go to the police department to receive the broken shield. The police department? Yes, right next to the police station downtown. You've been there, haven't you? Where Detective Gumshoe works? Yeah. Um, I was wondering something about your shield. Why is it broken? Well, what does it matter? I've got more important things to worry about. Oh, yeah, right. He doesn't seem to consider... He doesn't seem too considered about his award... Too considered... Concerned about his award for better or worse. Yesterday was a very busy day for the prosecutor's office. Maybe. We should ask him more about it yesterday. So what about yesterday? Could you tell me more about yesterday, the day of the murder? Yesterday was the annual clear was the annual clearing day of the prosecutor's office. C clearing? Why did I say clearing? What's wrong with me? Cleaning! Working with the police department will sort of file all evidence for solved cases. Uh, what? Oh, we sort of file. Okay, we sort and file. We call it evidence transfer. Wiping your hands of old cases, in other words. Oh, and other things. The ceremony was held at the police department. There's an annual review and rewards for astounding police officers and prosecutors. And that's when you got the shield. I was at the police department yesterday afternoon. I got back here at 512. That's very precise. People like myself and Mr. Edgeworth pride ourselves on our precision, Mr. Wright. No, I place little faith in my memory. The only thing I trust is solid evidence. Oh, here you go, parking stub. This is the parking stub from the underground lot. The murder took place around 5.15. So, the murder happened right after you got back? What, right? I'd appreciate it if you were direct that <laughs> you were direct that suspicious glare elsewhere. Um. Oh wow, there's a legit, actual like fucking loser police guy. 
Man, I was just joking about it before. This is my favorite now. Excuse me, sir. Find Mr. Edgeworth uh, anywhere on the premises? I'm Edgeworth. What is this? I'm here, sir. At the request of the chief, sir. I got your report, sir. Report? What? Did you find new evidence in the case against Chief Prosecutor Sky? I don't like the way the conversation is going at all. Ah, uh, Sky, sir. No, sir. No name of that kind, sir. Not in the report, sir. Hmm? I think I just heard Edgeworth lid, <laughs> lid blow. Mr. Edgeworth's lid? It's on very tight, is it? Is it on very tight, is it? I made a clear request to the police department, did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring me anything unrelated. Sir, but, uh, sir. I'm just following orders, sir. They told me to bring this to you. I wasn't aware of the peculiar... Give me your name. Uh, yes, yes, sir. Me Meekins, sir. Officer Meekins. Right, Officer Meekins. Take your report and leave. And good luck with the raise the next month. Uh, oh, but sir... I didn't know. Poor guy. Looks like he was absent on the day they gave brains and <laughs> on the day they gave brains and good luck. What the fuck, dude? Phoenix, come on, man. Right. Yes, sir. I oh, caught me off guard. As you can see, I'm busy. You may leave now. Let's do what he says, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective from the same department as the at the uh, as the patrolman just now. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Uh, thanks. He seems to have finally calmed down at least. Uh, oh man, Officer Megan. Oh, uh, they're gonna fire me, aren't they? Oh shit. Oh man. What the fuck is that mascot? February 22, Police Department entrance. Phew! We're finally here. Why would they put out the uh, why would they put the police department so far away from the prosecutor's office? Beats me. That took almost 30 minutes by taxi and traffic wasn't even that bad. The police department, huh? I've only ever been to the criminal affairs next door. Hmm? Hold on, what's this? Disturbing. Why does it. Why does. Uh, undulate like that? Oh, wait. I know. This is the Blue Badger. They're trying to make him the police mascot. Wow, Mr. Wright. You sure know a lot about the police. Still, he does seem familiar, somehow. Forget the Blue Badger. Who's the next. Uh, who's next to him? Someone appears to be dancing with the Blue Badger? Uh oh. He noticed me. Be sure. He sure is running over here fast. Hey, hey pal, what are, you, what are you doing here? That's my line, Detective Gumshoe. Specifically, why are you dancing over there? What? Oh, uh, well, uh... Well, at least he doesn't seem too busy. This is our chance to get information. Hey, I'll have you know I'm a very busy man, pal. Don't call me pal guy. Don't call me guy dude. <laughs> Alright. What you got for me, Detective? I'll give you one word of evidence, pal. You better not agree to defend the sus. You better not agree to defend the suspect in this case. Why not? Huh? Well, it's just that the chief prosecutor has confessed to the crime. She says she summoned the detective to the prosecutor's office and she killed him. But what if she's not telling the truth? Yes. Well, no. Come on, pal. There's plenty of evidence against her. But what if the evidence was faked? Hey, pal. Can I speak to you for a second? Huh? Me? Why is this little girl so peeved on me? She's a relative of the suspect. She's Lana Sky's sister. Whoa! She's prosecutor's little sister! Just please investigate the case carefully, okay? Scientifically. Yes, sir. Oh, by the way. You might want to keep your voice down. You don't want to be overheard using words like faked. Huh? It's just... It's a sensitive issue with us these days. So, what are you doing here, Detective Gumshoe? Me? Oh, uh, nothing, really. They kicked me out of criminal affairs. Detective Gumshoe? What would you do this time? What do you mean, this time? 
Then, what happened? I know things are busy right now. I mean, with my sister's case and all. It's true. We never had a chief prosecutor murder anyone before. Only the highest ranked people are being let into the criminal affairs now. The lowest ranked guys in there is our chief of detectives. There's not letting any of us rank and file detectives in at all. None of you? I know this is an important trial, but isn't that a little odd? So, anyway, I thought I'd spend the day getting the badger, getting the badger dance down, pal. Um, is there anything else you could be doing? The chief of police himself is directing this investigation, pal. And Officer Marshall was assigned to the underground parking lot. Officer Marshall? Now that I think, now that I think about it, Emma does seem to know that guy. Patrol man in charge of the crime scene? It's unheard of, pal. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, do you know who uh, this is? I'm Detective Gumshoe. What can you tell me about this? Huh? Hey, pal, this is a detective ID card. You can't just keep that. You have to turn it to the police. It's people like you that get me into such, get me in much more trouble. Wait, get me in so much trouble all the time. Meaning Detective Gumshoe must have dropped this card a lot. Hmm, let's see. Bruce Goodman. Goodman. Sounds familiar. Nah, my mistake. But didn't you work together with him in criminal affairs? Whoa, now I remember. Bruce Goodman. He's the victim. That's what I thought. Can you tell me more, Detective Gumshoe? Hey, what can you tell me about this? Hey, that's it. The King of the Prosecutor Awards that Mr. Edgeworth got yesterday. Were you at the reward ceremony, Detective Gumshoe? Of course, pal. I got a reward for diligence myself. And congratulations. I was wondering why the, war uh, why the reward is the shield. And why is it broken? Oh, there's a reason. Um, I'll tell you what it is later. Apparently he's forgotten. But I was proud of Mr. Edgeworth for winning that award. Even with all the naysayers in the prosecutor's office. Naysayers? Must be because of the rumors. Check this out. I got a knife. Found a Mr. Edgeworth car, stabbed with Mr. Edgeworth's knife, huh? Why would... Why would... Uh, what would drive Chief Prosecutor Scott to do such a thing? Wait, I didn't mean... I mean, sure, of course, someone else really did it. Someone who must have, uh... Someone who must have a grudge against Mr. Edgeworth? The car and the knife do seem a little too well organized to be a coincidence. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. What could have happened? We have to find out a little more about what's going on with Edgeworth. Alright. Hey Gumshoe, what do you think about this? Detective, here's my attorney's badge. Show this to me every time we meet, pal. Real men show their police badges, enough said. I wish... <laughs> I wish... I wish I had a... Wait, what? I wish had a badge, even ID card would be fine. I wish had a badge? <laughs> Don't you mean I wish I had a badge? <laughs> For once, I'm not reading it wrong. I wish had a badge. Fucking what? <laughs> Typo. Wait. Speaking of ID cards, I found a detective card, didn't I? Yeah, I showed it to him already. Oh, here we go. You can tell me more about this shit. So, this ID card belongs to the victim? He was a def- he was a- I was about to say he was a defected. Wow, why was I about to say that? He was a detective like myself. Detective Bruce Goodman- uh, Bruce Goodman. Huh, don't you think it's strange? I mean, why would the victim ID card be lying on the ground where we found it? Well, Detective Goodman would have been at the police department yesterday. <laughs> I'm yawning. There was an evidence tr uh, transferal for a case he handled two years ago. Evidence transferal. Mr. Edgeworth mentioned that too. But Detective Goodman was killed by prosecutor. Uh, was killed at the prosecutor's office. Well, that's the thing. It's hard to say this, but word is Chief Prosecutor Sky called him out there to the parking lot, and Lana confessed as much. He is. Uh, he's in a tough spot again. Again. Well, it's all started with the murder 
of the defense attorney, Hammond. But Mr. Edgeworth was found innocent. Listen, pal, there have always been rumors about Edgeworth. Forged evidence, making deals with witnesses, nothing outright, but there's always been widespread, uh, widespread, uh, yeah, yeah, whispered rumors. Ever since he was accused of murder, no one's whispering. They're practically shouting. But, but there's no evidence against him. Well, Mr. Edgeworth has always had unusual strong ties to the department higher-ups. It's only natural that people would be suspicious. I had no idea he was under the gun. Anyways, this latest case has started a new rumor. People say the only reason he took this case is because he's aiming for the chief prosecutor's position himself. What? But I know the truth, pal. Nobody wants to be the one who has to prosecute the chief prosecutor. Mr. Edward is biting the bullet on this one. He's doing this for all of us. Yeah. Damn. So what, can I head? Uh, pretty sure I can't head up. I don't think there's anything else I can show. Let's examine some shit. Like, why this thing beat the fuck up? Uh, I was wondering about that. What, the Dancing Blue Badger? It's my masterpiece. You created him? You made this detective come true? The chief threw together some designs and I just did my thing, pal. Nice work. It's battery powered, so it can go anywhere. There's no switch, so it just dance, dance, dance until the battery dies. Poor Blue Badger fitted to dance until he drops. And that's all I know about that. I'm not officially on the case, you know? Thank you. Why aren't you handling the case, Detective Gumshoe? We met the guy who is, uh, what's his name? The guy in the parking lot. That'd be Officer Marshall. He was appointed directly by the Chief of Police. Officer Marshall? Is he some kind of Wild West Sheriff or something? No, Jack Marshall's just a regular officer. From West LA. For a moment there, I wasn't sure. Look, pal, let me try to make things a little easier for you. Show them this, and they'll let you examine the crime, uh, the scene, uh, uh, the crime scene. <laughs> I'll be surprised if the gate, if they get, ah, uh, that, that, I'll surprise if this gets us anywhere. Just act like you're supposed to be there. Nobody will look at you twice. All right. Thanks. Is that a fucking detector with a, pom a detector? Why did I say that? Is that a detective with a pompadour? Looks cool as shit. All right. Let's head back to that underground parking lot. February 22, prosecutor's office. Underground parking lot. Looks like the investigation is still going. I have to be getting back to the shop. Sorry, looks like I'll be stuck in this pit till the sun sleeps. I see you in my dreams tonight then, baby. Oh. Still here? Uh, hello. Why? One of the surprise looks. Didn't I mention? I've got a boyfriend in Criminal Affair, too. What happened to the security guard? Hey, what's wrong, Bambina? You're looking like a doggy that lost its herd. Jack Marshall. Strange guy to put in charge of, crim of a crime scene. Especially since, he, especially since he keeps fucking shaving over the fucking evidence. Getting his little fucking DNA all over it. Hey. Officer Dickhead, here. Would you mind reading this for me? What's this? I warn you, fan letters to me go right in this in the spittoon. It's a letter of introduction from Detective Gumshoe. May we investigate? Gumshoe? Ah, the old cow, the old cro fuck, the old cow dog. Mm, he's holding a birthday party or something. Huh? Look, where it should say letter of introduction, it says invitation. Huh? I think he just miswrote it. Wait, why am I getting all defensive here? No worries. This proves it's from Detect Gumshoe better than a blood test. Guess I'd better let you in then. Thank you, Officer Marshall. Oh, that's right. He's a patrolman, not a detective. Which reminds me. Hey, wait a sec. Isn't a crime scene supposed to be handled by a detective or higher ups? Well, folks. The clues are calling. Welcome to our go welcome to our gold streak. Streak. Why do I keep saying streak? Strike. Uh be like the settler. Strike out of the lands unknown. Manifest destiny. Let's have a, a hoot nanny. Note to sell, police investigations are like settling settling land. 
Well, Mr. Wright, what do you say? I say I won't need this anymore. Detective Gumshoe's letter has been thrown away. Hey, check this out. I see, your badge. Looks pretty round. Our badge is a star, a lone star shining in the nighttime sky. It looks cooler than mine. A beam of light illuminating uh, evildoers who come in the dark of night. Note to self, evildoers are weak against starlight. Hey, that's a sheriff's badge. <laughs> Alright, what can you tell me? Actually, what can you tell me in general? The victim. Officer Marshall, could you tell us more about the victim? Good men always die young. Remember that, partner. Um, could you be a little more specific? Bruce Goodman. He was a detective, right? Well, well, aren't you a feisty dog now? Detective Goodman was stabbed here at 5.15. The smiling Mon the Mandana. Mandana? What am I saying? Madonna? Why did I say it like that? The smiling Madonna told me the tale. I think he means the witness, Miss Angel Star. One stab to the chest, a fine piece of work. This here's the autopsy report. Thank you. Was my sister involved with the victim in any way? Funny you should mention that, Bambina. Chief Prosecutor Sky and Detective Goodman had nothing in common at all. Nothing in common? They apparently worked together on the case a few years back, so there's no motive. Goodman wasn't a peculiar gift detective. That the detective I talked, I can't read. <laughs> That's. <laughs> <laughs> That's one reason why he didn't do much work uh, with the chief prosecutor. But my sister called the victim here on the day of the murder, right? Here, to this parking lot. So it seems, like calling an unarmed man to a shootout at high noon. I don't mean any offense, but Officer Marshall, you're a patrolman, right? Not a detective. You calling me out? They shoot you in the. <laughs> they shoot you for that in Texas, huh? I was one of them fancy shoot detectives till two years ago, to tell you the truth. Oh really? Now he tells me? But you're a patrolman now? So how can you be changed how can you be in charge of a crime scene? Nothing gets by you, does it, Bambina? So, why are you in charge? No reason. We're just short on hands right now. I'm keeping an eye out for in the meantime. That's odd though. Detective Gumshoe was saying he had nothing to do. Nothing important at least. He's nothing but a sad old cow dog that can't find his tail. Maybe it's because he runs with that Edgeworth, eh? Edgeworth. That cow dog's been kicked out of the cattle run by order of chief police. Just he doesn't realize it yet. Detective Gumshoe kicked out of investigation. Really? They're firing the guy? Can't be doing that now. Uh, what is the autopsy report, by the way? Die within an hour and a half of. Okay. Hmm. What can you tell me about this? Ah, a toy shield. Suits the boy well. What exactly could you shield with that? A toy knight, maybe? Officer Marshall, don't you have anything good to say about Mr. Edgeworth? You don't like him, right? We get the point. You know, when I was detective, I got one of these. Hmm. Let me see. Did it have a K for King of Detectives on it? Hey, that could use the same shield over there. These the same shield over and over. Okay. Not to sell prosecutor's office and criminal affairs are surprisingly cheap. You know it. They got cheaper with every passing year, I tell you. Alright. I think that's all I can talk to you about. I don't want to show you my, my murder weapon yet. Unless I have to. What the hell is this? This catches my eye immediately. This looks like a cell phone. Scientific, scientific, anal uh, blah, 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 blah. scientific analysis would suggest this belongs to the victim. I can't think of anyone else that it would belong to. What's so scientific about that? Should we check it out? Check this shit. Right. Let's check it out. Ch -ch check it. Alright. Nice phone strap on it. A little thing on the side. It's great. Open up. Open that bad boy up. There you go. Hmm. This phone's still on the radial screen. That's on the redial screen. Redial? 
Um, Mr. Wright? Most phones keep a record of all the calls you made and received. You just press the blue button to display the last number you've called. Convenient, isn't it? I'm surprised you didn't know that. Sorry to disappoint you, but even I know about things like redial. Huh? Oh, sorry. It's just you never know with people from your generation. Whatever. Let's check this. Did she just fucking okay boomer me? What the hell was that about? Redial. Now to see who the owner of this phone call, uh, who called last. What, what am I, what am I saying? I'm, I'm not even reading the damn thing. I'm just fucking paraphrasing here. Note to self, a defense attorney doesn't think first. He just pushes the button. Sorry, I'm listening to the music. <laughs> I actually like it. What is this? Alright, alright, that's enough. Hey, that song, I know that. What is it? Tell me. I need to look it up. Hey, what's going on over here? Beep. Ah, oh, sorry. I see you, partner. You pressed redial on their phone, didn't you? Uh, well, yeah. Whose phone is this, anyways? It was on the ground over here. Whose is it? It belongs to Chief Prosecutor Sky. What? It's my sister's. She apparently dropped it when she was taken into custody right after the crime. Looks like the last call was made right when the murder occurred. Looks like she was fixing to call someone. Except she only spoke for a few seconds and accorded to this. Who should call? No idea. Sorry, partner. Now I got a question for you, partner. I heard a phone ring just now. One of those new fangled, uh, new fangled ringtones. Huh? That? Uh... I'm sorry, that was my phone. Wh what Your phone? Yeah, it's kind of strange, but... Someone called me right as we picked up the other phone. The wrong number? I hope you're not lying. They shoot you for that in Texas, partner. Uh-oh. I incited the wrath of the Lone... <laughs> of the Lone Star Patrolman. <laughs> Alright. That thing had a funky ringtone. I liked it. I'm gonna make it my ringtone. It was really good. I liked it a lot. Oh, not move. What am I doing? Examine. Check this body out. So we're just gonna take the evidence from the crime scene? We just put it in our pockets? This rope. It's, uh... Yep. They laid it here outlining the victim's body. So wait. The victim must have died when the killer closed the trunk on him. You've got to be the only person I know that would come up to that conclusion. Hmm. This appears to be the car of the... <sighs> appears to be the car of me yawning. This appears to be the car where the body was found. It looks like the lock on the truck is busted. The crime took place in the underground parking lot uh, of the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. Quite a luxury, quite a luxury car. It just screams, "I have money to burn." Yeah, prosecutors get the big bucks. Def defense attorneys don't get shit. B block is through there, where the visitors park. I can see the lunch. Uh, I can see the lunch lands car over there, far in the distance. Hey, you're right. I like the cute design on the door. I can see a cartoon cow munching down on a juicy-looking steak. Doesn't that strike you as a little creepy? Just don't think too deeply about it. You'll be fine. You won't be emotionally scarred, I promise. Is that it? I think that might be it. I probably can talk to, uh... Patrolman over here. Oh, no, he's gone. Ooh, alright. I think that might be it, then, for here. I don't think there'll be anything else for me to check out. Oh, what's this? A block. This area is reserved for prosecutors. Defense attorneys are relegated to B block. I dream the day when I will be able to park my car here. I'll go over to B block to buy my hamburgers from you, Mr. Wright. I'm not planning on giving you my job that soon. Alright. I think we're good here. Maybe detention center? Nope. Back to law office? Nope. Under 
grab a parking lot. Huh. Oh. What the fuck happened to you? You just disappeared. So there's no connection between Detective Gumshoe and my sister. That's correct, but there's a gold mine of evidence against her. And the, pro and the prosecutor tomorrow is none other than the Edgeworth himself. I'm afraid your sister's fate is decided, Bambina. My condolences. Officer Marshall. Yeah, Bambina? How can you say that? You and my sister. You were lovers. Is there something between the cops and her sister that I don't know about? I apologize, Bambina. Something must have gotten to me. Maybe it's that dry wind that's blowing through a prosecutor's office. Dry wind or ill will? Something's up to so someone's up to something here, but who? Suspicions about Mr. Edgeworth have been flying around for nearly two years now. Forge evidence and oh, forge evidence and arranged testimonies. You mean? He was uh, oh fuck! I just hit my microphone. He was unbeat because he did whatever it took to win. Unbeatable, that is, until he met you. But rumors are just rumors, aren't they? These are prosecutors we're talking about. Evidence is everything to them. If you're, fo if you're following the rumors about Edgeworth to their source, you find one person. But they're off limits. Untouchable, you might say. One person? Who? I hate to say this, but it's your sister, Bambina. <laughs> it's your sister, Bambina. Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky. What? My sister? Edgeworth couldn't rustle all those cattle by himself. Some people load their guns with bullets. Some people load them with deals. What you're saying is Edgeworth was making deals to win trials? Whatever there's a gunshot, there's bound to be bullets. That's what the old timer says. There's a big old secret hiding around here somewhere. Everyone knows it. Is that why Detective Gumshoe was taken off the case? Did they target him because he was closest to Edgeworth? Alright, well thanks for that information. Alright. Now detention center? Where the fuck am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do? Do you know something? No. Back to the parking lot. Alright, guess I'll show you evidence now. Um, I showed him this, I believe. I guess I'll show him the murder weapon? Alright, compadre. Count to three. Huh? You gotta do that if you're gonna draw evidence on someone. That's what we do in Texas. Remind, remind me never to visit Texas. Alright. 5.12 p.m. The prosecutor's bright red steamed car in a trot. A real slow light. A trot? Mama Donna tells me the crime occurred three minutes later. So, it seems the chief prosecutor was lying in wait. Maybe, waiting for her prince to ride in and on his bright red horse. So what do you mean? Is the killer intended to use Edgeworth's car all along? Tell me more. Damn it. What's that? Some sort of police passport? This is Detective Goodman's ID card, strangely enough. We found it a good distance away from the crime scene. Good distance? In this rat hole? If you want distance, you go. You get yourself to Texas. Texas. This is a tiny little crime scene in a tiny little town with tiny little evidence. What difference does a few yards make, compadre? Note to self, if you encounter suspicious evidence, think of Texas. Think of Texas. <laughs> There's no better way to study than to, ha to hang out with the pros. All right. Can you tell me about the blue badger? All right. Nope. Nothing. I showed him my badge, so I can't do that. All right. Well. That seems it. I don't think there's anything else I really can show him. I showed the ID card, murder weapon, he doesn't care. Showed him this trophy. Talked about Edgeworth. I believe I showed him the trophy, right? Uh, toy shield. Yeah, okay, yeah, I did. I showed him all that shit. I'm not gonna show him the phone, because we hit it from on purpose. Alright, well, I think that's it. 
detention center and prosecutors. Oh, here we go. Edgeworth isn't here no more. Alright, so there's really nothing to do. Maybe Gumshoe can tell me some things. I will show him... I shall show him the phone. Detective has to keep his mouth shut on that one. Good. Alright, I don't think there's anything important there. Parking stub. Madam Edgeworth's car car stub. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Doesn't matter what you show him. Mount Edgeworth, 1712. This is the date of the day of the crime. The murder took place three minutes after Edgeworth parked his car. If only he was held up at the couple extra red lights. He wouldn't have been caught up in this whole affair. Perhaps. You just go to show you, never know what will happen when you run a yellow light. So it's just like a picture, I guess. Bruce Goodman, chest bone, one was caused by 5.4.5 inch knife, a single stab one was found. <coughs> I need a drink of water. My voice is getting scratchy. Alright. Uh, 4.5 inch, which is Edward's knife. Pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nothing else to check on this damn thing. All right. We looked at all evidence that we have. Uh, did I examine this? I don't think I did examine this, but let's examine this. It's all blurry. The name ID card I'm written here, Sergeant Bruceman. I wonder why they use numbers for IDs. Uh, what else would they use it for? Letters, silly. The reason have written language in the first place. True. Sergeant Bruce Green, ID. Yabad. <laughs> Yabada. <laughs> See? Wouldn't that be better? A. <laughs> y A B A. <laughs> well, it does have a certain ring to it. Yabada. <laughs> exactly, my point. It doesn't take much to amuse her. Alright, well, not much there. Let's examine. Try and walk through the door. The detectives in there look pretty busy. Just imagine right now, behind those doors, a police drama in action. Somehow the thought fails to excite me. Alright, well, there's nothing there. Can I not talk to your sister again? Like, for real? Parking lot. Examine. I don't, like... I presented him everything I can. I showed him the badge. I showed him the murder weapon. I, he didn't care. This. Show him the parking lot. I didn't show him this. Oh, yeah, he didn't care about that either. My bad. Only thing I didn't show him is the phone, which I don't think I should. My sister's cell phone. The last time it was used was f was 518, right after the right after Goodman was killed. Maybe she was canceling her date for that night. Why didn't Lana make that call? Yeah, nothing else. That's pretty much it. Uh, slide. I must be missing something here. What's this? Looks like a note of some sort. Look, something's written on it. <clears throat> Goodman. You're right, let's see. 67S12-2. Uh, There's a name printed on the paper above that. Goodman. Maybe it fell out of his pocket when he was killed. Well, so, what does it mean, Mr. Wright? I'm not supposed to know. Note to self, for deductive reasoning, go to Edgeworth, not right. Well, go fuck yourself. I'm sure Edgeworth would <laughs> know what that means either. Wouldn't know what that means either. Alright. So, well, uh, how, how are we doing, Mr. Wright? I guess we got some clues. We have an autopsy report, a note from the victim, and a cell phone. 
So, you think we'll be okay? Well, the only thing still bothers me is that Lana's confessing to the crime. She says she did it? No problem. I can guarantee that she's not the criminal. Oh, by the way, Emma. Yes? I know that song your phone plays. Uh, I know that song your phone plays when it rings. What? It's the Steel Samurai theme song, isn't it? Really, is it? It sounds way better in 8-bit. I like it. That popular TV show for kids? The phone that rang earlier wasn't mine. It was... yours? At 5.18, just after the murder took place. Your sister called you, didn't she, Emma? I... I'm sorry. Can you tell me what you talked about? I... She hung up right away. I see. A cell phone updated in the court record. A detective is murdered, and the suspect is the top prosecutor in the district? I've got a bad feeling about this. Like, maybe I still don't know everything that went on here. To be continued. Save your progress here. You feel good all the way. And you dun a dun ta ta a dun a dun a dun ta ta. All right. February twenty third, twenty uh twenty February twenty third, nine thirty four a.m. District Court Defense Lobby Number Two. All right. So here's the thing. Oops, I did not mean to do that. I fucking press something that I shouldn't have pressed on my stream. There we go. So, here's the deal. Expand. I... I have to cut tonight's stream short, sadly. And it's mainly because I have a bunch of important things I have to do tomorrow, some appointments I gotta keep up and stuff like that. So, unfortunately, tonight's stream is gonna be a uh, short one. I didn't want to cancel it or anything like that. So, for those who attended the stream, thank you very much. I uh, appreciate it. Also, because I didn't have that much time to stream tonight, I didn't want to get into the actual trial yet. I wanted to actually, you know, get into that when, uh, when I have more time. So next stream, definitely going to be a long one. It's going to, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be running for a bit. Uh, so those who tuned in on the stream, thank you very much. I highly appreciate it. And those who, ow, my leg. And for those who are watching on YouTube, thank you very much as well for your support. I appreciate it. Uh, I really don't know how to do an outro. I, I haven't recorded anything in a while. Uh, <laughs> so, if it's morning for you, have a great rest of your day. If it's evening, uh... Take it easy tonight, you know, huddle on down, watch some, uh, watch some movies or something, I don't know, it's quarantine, what else we got to do? If it's nighttime, then, uh, have a, have a good morning, cause we all know you're not gonna go to sleep till like, one o'clock. <laughs> you fucking, you vagrant. Just like me. And, as always, I wanna thank everyone so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. Do take care. Be safe out there. And have a lovely day.